Hey there, BlackBerry fans. I want to show you some of the less uh, noticed features within 10.2. Show you how to make a little bit more use of your Z10 if you're running this latest uh, leak or build, or whatever you want to call it. This this build is not the dev OS. This is a this is the alpha, and it's got some neat neat stuff in it that I want to just go through quickly. So here's BlackBerry Hub. They have this new edition called Pinch Gesture. It's not working on this build. What I believe this is going to allow you to do is uh, pretty much do select more via pinch. So you'll just be able to kind of pinch across whenever you enter that mode, I think. I have no idea, really. But they've added that in. I'm going to go into the settings of Hub, and they've added something called Priority Inbox Settings. Priority Inbox is pretty neat. It pretty much sets up rules for your inbox, and then will prioritize your uh, conversations accordingly. So if there's you know, you can prioritize by the activeness in the conversation, whether a user's name is mentioned in the message, whether you have a meeting with that person today. It's really great and allows you to sift through all your, your feeds. I really like this feature. Um, as you've already seen, you have this little menu you can toggle. You can pull and drop it right there, and it'll stay. You can hop in here. Another neat little thing you can do is you can slide both of these panes in, and they both will just kind of stay at your fingertips. But that's been present since, uh, since the beginning. So I'm going to take you now into the music application, where there's a couple changes. As I've already highlighted, this thing is fast. I'm going to show you right now. I don't think I have any playlists. Let's go to all songs. So as you can see, look how fast this thing changes songs. It is ridiculous. And it doesn't lag. It doesn't hold up. It is, it is monumentally fast. And what's great is you let go and it automatically starts playing. See, we're already going now. Really neat, really fast. And if you try this on other operating systems, other phones will lag up after a while. Nothing stays this fast. Nothing can change tracks this fast. I've tested on iPhones, Androids. This is unique to BlackBerry 10. I'm going to slide over here. You have properties for your songs now. I'm going to get off of Taylor Swift so I don't seem like a machine mail. Yeah, you can edit the order of tracks within an album. You can even hop into properties, change names, see file types, duration, and even the location. That's pretty neat. Um, maybe I'm now playing. But that's pretty much it. Minor changes in the music application. Within the pictures, they've changed the iconography down here. Now it says date instead of camera. And... Um, Within photos themselves, you can also check properties, you can play on, set, again, pretty pretty straightforward there. Within the edit, they've added in some new enhancements, you have sharpness, noise reduction down there, which are pretty cool. A couple new filters as well as a couple new frames, thin black, thin white, etc, etc. So that's pretty neat. I, I love this. Anyway, <laughs> trying to keep this as brief as possible for you guys. Um, let's see what else. As you may have seen, or may or may not have seen, within BBM channels, there's been a beta that was released. And now you can actually search channels, which is pretty neat. So let's go. You can browse channels. You can actually type up here and search just by, you know, by subtitles, which is pretty neat. I think BBM, uh, channels is going to be pretty big once it gets uh, into its full breath. So that's that's some, some, something new with 10.2. Let's see what else we have going here. The calculator was changed in 10.1 and supposedly the I think it's the camera application. You can now add multiple multiple alarms too. I don't know if this build has it. Yes, this build does. So now you can add multiple alarms. Uh, let's say that one for there. And add another one for over here. Now you see you have multiple alarms. Pretty neat. Just tiny little refinements, and they really do make the system run a lot more fluidly. What I gotta say is it's it's added in a lot of charm into the user interface that I guess may have been lacking in earlier builds, and I hope they, they keep pushing this uh, idea forward. So, what I want to show you guys now, well, I guess I'll show you the camera trick. Couple, two little camera tricks I want to show you guys. So, there is now indeed a low light setting, and it works surprisingly. I'm going to show that to you real quick. See if these photos are still on here. But I've took a photo with low light on and low light off that filter, and it was remarkable the difference. So, 
This is a photo with the low light off, and you can barely see my face, let alone anything else. That's with the low light camera on, much more clear, and you can actually see what's going on in the photo, which is a lot of difference. So that's low light off, that's low light on. Pretty impressive the uh, the, the amount of uh, effect it has on your image. Now we've already had it within the camera application. We've already had a uh, scenes for nighttime. You put the scene as night and low light, you get really phenomenal pictures. So what I want to show you is this that they've added in. You take a picture, and we had this little peak gesture that allowed you to, you know, view your image, you know, and then just hop right back in without having to actually leave the camera application. Now they've even streamlined more. They bring in these UI elements for sharing and deletion direct, and you can regress the gesture and go right back. Really neat. Uh, they've just kind of flown that in as we need it, and it's not there when we don't. So yeah, I'm just going to delete, let go, pop the toast, done. Another really kind of interesting thing is if I take a photo, I go to share, I'm in the share user interface, yet I can pull over here and still take a photo. So if you're in the middle of trying to share a photo and something crazy is happening, just you don't even have to press cancel, slide, take the photo, and keep going. Keep moving, by definition. So that's pretty neat. I like, I like that little, little retrogressive gesture that's there where you can just slide and then go right back. That's pretty neat. Um... And then uh, this is this is one of my favorites. This is like BlackBerry taking it to the next level. Okay, here's the the BlackBerry web browser. Gonna go to Berry Flow. If you've never been there, uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, as you know, we have tabs, history over here, bookmarks, got all this good stuff over here. But what I want to show you is they've actually done some a really cool gesture that they've built in. You can swipe up on the back button. See that little back arrow right here at the bottom? You can swipe up on it, and it will actually let you hop into a new page or new tab, see your current, and jump into your full history. It's really neat. You don't have to slide over here, tap, or whatever. You can just, without even doing that, just swipe up and pull it up. That is a really cool feature, and I hope they bring more and more gestures to the browser, because uh, it is BB10. Come on. If iOS can have gestures in the browser, we can too. Ah, for some reason this started working. So, you see that now how there's this orange, uh, this, this orange band? That is part of the priority inbox settings that we, I was showing you over here. So, yeah, this is part of that. It, it's, it's showing you more prevalent information. Let's go to Hub and see if it'll do it. So, yeah, you can see some of, some of your things are called out via their priority. So, this is a conversation I was having last night with Seshwat, and, um, it's prioritizing that because of the activeness in this conversation. So it's really neat to just kind of how it lays everything out for you. I gotta say, I like Priority Inbox a lot. And that is just nifty. Super nifty. Anyway, that is my quick little run through of BlackBerry 10.2. There's a lot more to come, guys. And uh, when we see this in its full, uh, full version in, uh, in fall, I expect there's going to be quite a lot of refinement. Anyway, thanks for watching. That is the BlackBerry Z10 running 10.2 Alpha.